Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today, I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 147. Yes, I am back. I feel a lot better. I have been sick for a while and honestly, I lost like six to seven pounds just by, yeah, just nausea and I just, ugh. Yeah, so I lost a lot of weight, y'all can tell, and hopefully I'm able to continue reading like normal for the rest of this month. So... Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So yes, 50% of this episode will be covered with the cat logo. If you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. You guys can read along with me on Webtoons.com or read it on your own on Webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all my reads without any sort of censorship, no cat logo blurs, and it's on my private channel on Patreon, which is at patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> okay. Warning. The following episode contains content that may be shocking for some readers. Viewer discretion is advised. Guys, we have not seen this type of warning on the Remarried Empress in a while, in a very long time. So this is going to be very good. A week had passed, but I had yet to discover the true nature of the ghost. Moreover, I could no longer avoid the, a face-to-face -face meeting with Kaufman. As for which goods to trade, how about necessities and useful items that can only be found in our respective regions, exotic luxury goods, as well as fruits and grains that can be transported over long distances? Very well. Who should we assign to do the market research? And while you're at it, please give me your heart. I mean... <clears throat> I shall have to consult his majesty. I don't know enough about this empire to give you suggestions. I see. Well then, I shall write up a summary of what we discussed. I'll do the same. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to discuss? Uh, Marquis Catron is mastermind behind recent events and Duke Reverie is turning a blind eye. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, is he saying what I think he is? They're the one who are behind this ghost incident? Oh. I can see him doing it. Uh. Who? Marquis Catron. He can cast illusions. He can? I'm surprised. One wouldn't expect the foreign minister to be a mage. But I suppose it's not unusual for an outstanding mage to be giving a role that is unrelated to magic. Just look at Henry and Grand Duke Kaufman. Grand Kaufman and Henry were exemplary students at the Wilwool Academy of Magic. Anyway, if that's the case, may I handle this by myself? Of course, but what are you going to do? An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. I shall fight rumors with rumors. Well, mm, I wonder what she has up her sleeve. Stuff. Oh. Hmm? Huh? Don't... Uh, uh. Oh... So... Uh, uh. That should keep him quiet for a week. The plan was a success. Did you hear that Marquis Cajun received medical attention after a brutal late night beating? He hasn't waken up for several days and is just groaning. Oh dear. But don't you find it odd? That ghost hasn't been back ever since Marquis Catron has been bedridden. <gasps> what are you implying? I must get going, but you three enjoy yourselves. It is quite strange. The Marquis also happens to specialize in illusory magic. Do you think he did it because Lady Crystal was driven out of the palace? <gasps> I understand he, why he was angry. He's, uh, but he crossed the line by involving the late king. 
there's a clear difference between false rumors and exposing the truth. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about now, Empress Navier. The Remarried Empress, Episode 147 Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, after Rasha's return from her trip... Ugh! I'm glad that Sazen did a great job, but I didn't expect the shock to last this long. So... No. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. That's... I need a moment for that. Okay. Oh. Mm, gross. Okay. Seeing a corpse would unnerve me this much. Oh. Are you listening, Rashta? T -t I brought you a skilled assassin just like you wanted. I did ask, ask the Viscount to find me. I did ask the Viscount to find me one just in case, but I don't really need one anymore. Anyway, why are these assassins so set on covering their faces? Can you lower your scarf? You asked me to find you an assassin when you don't even know the first thing about them. People in their profession hide their appearance because they have a lot of enemies. Then how am I supposed to know it's them? Are they saying I can identify them by their hand? Well, it won't hurt to have another person I can hire. Hmm. Let's see how good you are. You really do love using me for your own purposes, don't you? Oh, wait, what? You really do love using me for your own purposes, don't you? N no, it's not. That's not it. It's just that you're the person I trust the most. And yet you want me to get involved in something this dangerous. Th the assassin won't hurt you. I made them promise they wouldn't. I, I don't understand. I thought he'll smile and agree to it like he always does. I instructed them to bring me that bracelet. Th that's all. He doesn't even want to look at me. But it's too late to cancel the test. What should I do? I didn't mean to shock you. I'll see you later. I'm sure he'll get over it once everything goes well. I'll apologize to him th again then. <laughs> Let the corruption begin. She is on the right track. She's falling into all of his bait. Dawn. Surely you're not serious! I made it very clear that you weren't to harm him! The Duke and his guards were too powerful. I couldn't steal it without using force. <gasps> There's no doubt they're very skilled, seeing as they still manage to take it. But what about the Duke? <gasps> <Duh. gasps> um, Your Majesty, Duke Ergi is preparing to leave the palace. What did you just say? The Duke is leaving the palace for good? If he leaves, then I... <gasps> no! I can't let him depart. Please don't leave, Dugari. I have... I have something to tell you. The Remarried Empress. Oh, man. She just... That has the scene of... The head. Just... You know, tumbling down. It just, it just kind of grossed me out. It was just like, wow, Rasha, like, you are a POS. I mean, you stole someone's husband. You got someone to be dethroned as an empress. You always, like, comparing yourself, trying to, like, be similar to Navier. Like, you, you did a lot of despi despicable things, and you're trying to, like, ruin Navier so much, and anyone who goes against you, but unaliving someone who was who was there for you, protected you, helped you escape. Like, that's horrible. You're a POS. And now, now, like, what are you up to? But, of course, she is losing her friend 
that you know she didn't realize it's not really your friend he's just there to set up bait but wow rashta you are the worst and for navier's side she is getting stuff handled and i'm so glad she's realizing who are the bad people and able to mute them so it's getting good a little you know gory but if you guys enjoy the way i reacted and read this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye